Is my mic audible? Can you hear me? What's up, Cody? Just making sure my mic's all good. Is the volume all right compared to the music? I can't really hear the balance. Like the music's loud, I can turn that down. Oh, okay. Well, then that's good to know. All right. It's been attenuated a little bit. to answer any questions.
can't shift this thing from high down into low. It's a shame just to keep it away from you. Cause now I'm all dressed up and I got no
I'll find some of these speech you'll be too. What's the difference so long as you're having fun? Just think. Twenty thousand kids.
Hey, Joe. Just saw your message. Having a good time streaming. by far the most tedious of all the steps in this editing process. Just adding fingerings, correcting all kinds of stuff. It's gotta be done, unfortunately. All this stuff is actually really complicated.
you might like this act this uh this next music joe it's pretty interesting Slowly but surely, this project is getting done. <laughs> those big adjustments that feel really gratifying when you get to do them. So I'm just going to rearrange this whole page.
No, the most annoying thing is gonna be what's coming up, dude. This, uh, this bracket needs to undercut this note to show that it's gonna be played by the by the right hand. I honestly don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. It's gonna look like garbage. Yeah, whatever... <laughs> whatever the guy I'm working for had in mind, this is not happening. We're gonna- we're gonna have to do something else. Yeah, that's what it was supposed to be, but in real life, if you're not using like different colored pens, it doesn't work. And so I'm trying to figure out another solution. Like, I think this will be okay. It doesn't seem stupid. Debating whether it needs like monodestra and monosinistra things. Like that feels kind of extra to me. Especially if I. feeling that's just going to be too much. You have to understand that this, the, uh, the staff size on this, although the staff size is 7 millimeter, but on a 9 by 12 page, like, if I go up to 
the hundred percent mark. Like, that's about as small as you're going to want to read anything, which is 12 font, 12 point, uh, 12 point text in italics in a font that has kind of extra italics. So I don't know. It's a little weird. You know what I'll do? I'll come back to it. I finally like broke down and decided to start using comments in my scores for editing stuff in Sibelius. Things got better. So I think that's a good thing. It's just weird because he's trying to parse out like different voices that well you know how you know why it was like that originally is because the the original manuscript has um, the original manuscript has it this way broken up in st staves like this and presumably it's done like this because the guy who did the transcription would uh, he can do that with his left hand and it's clean for him to do it that way and the guy I'm working for had a look at it and was trying to figure it out with his hands he was like man this isn't going to work and so he decided that he should put that note in I'm honestly not sure what to do I'm not a pianist so these things are kind of awkward for me to figure out Accidentals are a real jungle also. probably switch it over now that I think about it. Yeah, but then the... But this note is mono sinistra. So that's another awkward thing. Do I just move that over and make everybody's life easier? Feels like I kind of can't wait on this one. But it's okay. I can sleep on it. What's well, another day?
Yeah, this has, this has something like... It's creeping up on 70 hours put into it, so... Another, like... 15 minute think session tomorrow is... Is gonna be a good thing, I think. What happened here? Why did they make these so far apart? That's just how it was in my non-editing version. Oh no, yeah, it's totally Japanese. I think it's like, uh, I think it's a commercial. I can't quite remember. I've this person's used this exact sample in something else. It's a lot clearer. Than so, uh, so I don't know. It's definitely not like a cartoon. It's some sort of promotional advertisement. Thing. It might be music from a commercial that was licensed from some other source in the culture.
I never know what to do in these situations. I don't have the crap coming back to the house. I don't have to like work around the bracket with. Like, the closer I move it, I feel like I've been loving seeing pictures of your cat, by the way. I cannot get enough of that. This is the real, uh, this, this is the real question that I feel like maybe you would be able to answer. Uh, I mean, I could look this up in my engraving book, but, uh, I'm not quite sure exactly what to do. Uh, so, when I was going through the manuscript with my, uh, with my client, he said that this figure wasn't clear as to whether this note and these notes occurred at the same time. And I'm legitimately not sure what to do about, uh, about sort of reordering these things. I mean, this was originally there. And that's no good. <laughs> it could be over here. Like, on that side of it. But that also feels goofy. Like, and it this happens multiple times. It's like always, uh, it's always on this downbeat sort of figure. Sometimes it has the dots and sometimes it doesn't. And I honestly don't know like what the what the kosher solution is on something like this. I do know that these should be over a little bit. Right? I thought that was clear too. <laughs> I like I, I genuinely don't know how I could make that more clear. Because, like, the math works out. You see, like, the, the number of notes in the beam, and it's still good. It's just, it's, the thing has to be a certain distance away from the dot uh, in order for it to, like, make sense. Yeah. 
And my, my hunch is that it would be um, that it's not just the default in Dorico, but if you can, if I consulted the ghoul engraving text or if I consulted like the Kurt Stone one, uh, if, if I consulted either of those things, It's just the dot that makes it weird. And then there's this. Which I honestly don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about this. I thought I could, like, make these, um... Uh... I thought I could make it, like, thinner. Oh god. You know, that's not a bad idea to change. It's, it's storming. It's storming right now. It looked like that. And that was just obscene. And so having it in is better.
Aïe, aïe, aïe. There's a whole bunch. The thing that I don't like, like I made those drill symbols myself. And I honestly don't know whether it would be a good idea. It feels like the accidentals are too large. I mean they're clear. I don't know. It's one of those like, things that you And this one has to have a footnote on it. Mm 
dire times like this. Musicians aren't working right now. Who are they kidding? I guess you gotta do something to keep yourself going.
people really want those recital recordings. So. You have a point. And the reverb, I guess. so cheesy. So much kitsch to it.
All right, now we got some cool stuff coming up. Exclusively to this song. Oh, <laughs> 
have like four more than or like maybe five more did churn him out for a while. YouTube says it doesn't like it though. It's too close. Let's see if I just... I'm just going to change the track. To leverage those connections in high places. Thank you. 
such a spoil spoil. Let me spoil on something that it's not going to rest. Probably not going to care about this.
cool. Yeah. I think we had a good time watching.
Mm-hmm.